Hi everybody, Sean Woodland inside the CrossFit Update Studios being joined by a woman who really needs no introduction, but we're going to do it anyway. She is a four-time CrossFit Games individual competitor. She finished on the podium twice in 2012 and in 2014, and of course had one of the most memorable regional performances in 2015 when she competed with a ruptured Achilles tendon. She is of course Julie Houche. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Y you made a pretty big announcement recently as far as competition is concerned. You're going to go team with C-Town CrossFit. How did that whole I thing come about? I am. Yes. Yeah, so actually we've been trying to qualify a team for the past couple of years and last year we missed it by a few spots and so this year we made a much more concerted effort to get the team together and start training together before January and we were able to qualify so we're really excited to go and have a good time in Nashville. Now you stopped individual com competition because you wanted to pursue your medical career. Mm -hmm. You're still doing that but where are you in that process? So I finished my last medical school class at the end of March, and now I have a little bit of time off. I graduate in May, and then I will start residency at the end of June. And you are going into family medicine, correct? Family medicine, yes. And you've talked about wanting to incorporate the things you learned about health from CrossFit into a family practice. What is that going to look like? That's why I love family medicine is because it's all about prevention and helping people be as healthy as possible. And so obviously CrossFit fits into that and into my philosophy about how to make people healthy. So ultimately my husband and I want to have a practice where we can be right next to our CrossFit affiliate and be able to have our patients um, participate in CrossFit if they want to and be able to support them and being healthy. People are going to be excited that you are going to go to regionals as a member of a team, but many people would love to see you back on the individual side of things. What would have to happen <laughs> for you to be back as an individual competitor? I really don't know. Probably <laughs> the world would have to, something crazy would have to happen, but I can't really see that. Just because of what it takes now right. to be an individual competitor, I am, really don't see myself giving up everything else I'm doing, and I'd probably have to drop out of residency and just put the rest of my life on hold to do yeah, that. I'm write this down because we're going to see yeah. if we make that happen. Because <laughs> right. I know please, don't, <laughs> please don't make that happen. Um, so, yeah, I don't see that happening. You had a pretty incredible run over the four years you were at the CrossFit Games, but a lot of people remember you because of what happened at regionals in 2015, competing on the uh, injured Achilles tendon. There is Julie Boucher, the number one overall seeding, currently sitting in first place with 180 points. That's a step and a go, a step and a go. Like, this girl is on fire. A little stumble there. Look at that shoe. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if she turned her ankle, but she is moving that right ankle. When you look back at that whole experience, what stands out? For me, it was that the reaction of the community. It was unlike anything else I've ever experienced. And you experience the CrossFit community in so many different ways in competing, but in your affiliate on a day-to-day -day basis. But for me, that was one of the most powerful moments of feeling like you're there in a vulnerable moment and there are people there who have your back who are there to support you and help you get through it. We can make that happen again if you just <laughs> come back as an individual. We will, we, will, we will set this up. But when you look back on your career as an individual, what, what are the things that you're most proud of? Wow, that's a tough question. I think probably one most proud of the way that I was able to compete while I was in medical school yeah. and balance those two things and be able to navigate those priorities in different ways at, during different years. And then also just the amazing amount that you learn going through that process of competing and how every year I evolved a little bit as an athlete and as a person. And I think that it taught me so much that I'm gonna carry with me for the rest of my life. When you first started CrossFit to now, as far as the competition landscape is concerned, how, how has it changed? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's crazy. I look back and I was, th I was talking to someone the other day who, you know, is an aspiring competitor and her, her lifts, her max lifts are higher than mine were mm -hmm. when I competed at the games in 2010, but now that's not even getting you to regionals. So yeah. just the amount of fitness that people mm -hmm. have gained in the last five to seven years is unbelievable. So it's really exciting to see and I wonder you know, it's going to be yeah. cool to see where it goes. From you, have, there. you have a podcast called Pursuing Health that you do every other week. I do. What can people uh, expect from that coming up here in the next few months? Yeah, I have, well, since I've had some time off school, mm -hmm. I've had a little bit more time to be able to interview people in person and I have some really great episodes coming up leading into the CrossFit Games with games competitors mm -hmm. and talking about, you know, their process and some other things going on in their lives. Um, so I'm excited about those. But I also try to feature just regular everyday individuals who have really interesting health stories. So some of those.
good ones coming up too. If people want to listen to it or download it, where can mm -hmm. they find it? You can find it on my website, juliefshea.com, okay. or on iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, any other podcast. All right. Well, good yeah. luck with the team pursuit, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to try to get you back as an individual. I'm sorry <laughs> that sabotages the medical career, but the CrossFit community wants to see you back as an individual. But we do wish you best of luck uh, in the pursuit of the medical, medical career and best of luck uh, moving forward with regionals. Julie Fouché, four-time individual competitor, now trying to lead a team to the CrossFit Games, and we certainly look forward to seeing you doing that. Thank you.